Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about Major Hurricane Barbara and how it's going to affect the Hawaii Islands over the next few days as well as the intensity forecast and the projected track of this storm. But before I get started with this video though, I'd ask that you do subscribe if this is your first video you are watching. I do lots of forecasts for storms like this, severe weather, snowstorms, monthly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and also live streams. So if you haven't subscribed already, I highly recommend it. Right now we're looking at the moving satellite and you can see that it has a lot of spin to it. It has a very defined eye. It's a very strong storm right now. It's actually a category four hurricane right now. So it's a very, very strong storm and it's heading directly for Hawaii. Again, we'll talk about that in a little bit once we start talking about the projected track. But you can see a lot of those reds, blacks, whites. It's, it's very intense right now. And we're going to have to watch how this progresses over the next few days and watch how the intensity uh, changes. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is look at your spaghetti models right now. And you can see right on the very left, right next to that 20 degrees north, you can see there's the Hawaii Islands, the big island right there. That's where all, a lot of these spaghettis uh, plots have it going right into the big island. About five of them, I would say, have it had it hitting directly. Five of them have it missing just a little bit north, but still affecting. So this is a very, very dangerous situation, and we do see the most likely track as as of right now, looking at this, it looks like the most likely track is directly towards Hawaii and directly into Hawaii. Now, we're also going to be looking at the spaghetti mo uh, models according to the GEFS, which is the GFS ensemble model. And you can see this one also has it hitting Hawaii directly right above that uh, one of those 10, 11 millibar logos right there uh, with the 144 under it. You can see there's the Hawaii Islands right under that. It's very hard to see, but it's a direct hit. Um, also, we're going to take a look at your Jeff's model, which is the, the CMC ensemble model. And you can see this one has it heading directly towards Hawaii as well. That black, that black line is the ensemble of them all or the mean average of them all. So that's the average track that they have it going towards, and that's directly towards the big island of Hawaii. Now we're going to look at your intensity guidance, and this is basically the only good news that I have here to show you guys. Over the next few days, it's going to go from Category 4 status, pretty strong Category 4 status at that. It's at 125 knots right now, and it's going to have a pretty steady decline in in intensity, it's going to go to Category 3 by tomorrow, Category 2 by the day after tomorrow, Category 1 by the day after that, and then back into Tropical Storm status. So this is going to uh, kind of weaken very, very, very quickly, and by 96 hours out, it might even be below Tropical Storm status or at weak Tropical Storm status. And if I'm correct, I think that's about the time frame that they have it hitting the Big Island at about 1%. 144 so that's going to be pretty long range and it should be a weak tropical storm by that point not saying that it won't have any impacts but it's not going to be a category four when it hits the hawaii islands if it does hit the hawaii islands which looks pretty likely at this point but it shouldn't be even a category one hurricane by that point it shouldn't it's not going to be as strong as it is right now and that's basically the only good news i have for you guys now looking at the uh, NOAA's forecast for it here. You can see it's a major hurricane uh, by Wednesday still, by Thursday still, by Thursday morning, and then by Thursday evening it should be down to a Category 2, and then by Friday evening it should be a tropical storm, and then by 8 p.m. Saturday it's going to be a subtropical storm and then subtropical depression by Sunday, but you can see it is heading in the general direction of the Big Island of Hawaii still, uh, and it still will affect that area and obviously I will be doing probably a live stream when it hits Hawaii if it hits Hawaii but I'm going to continue to make updated forecasts for this storm for those of you who live in Hawaii or are worried about this storm hitting Hawaii. Uh, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was very informative. Let me know what videos you want in the future. Anyway guys stay safe if you are in Hawaii during this storm and I hope to see you during the next video.